Hey ladies, quick question for you. Would you willingly put this anywhere near your vagina? Oh no, what the fuck? Why would you even ask that? Why indeed. Most of us are familiar with Gwyneth Paltrow, the American actress with possibly the most white middle-class name I've ever come across. After starting her career with such films as Seven and Sliding Doors, she achieved worldwide fame after winning the Oscar for Best Actress for her role in Shakespeare in Love. Kate Blanchett was robbed! When she was done stealing awards from much more deserving candidates, for the next 10 years, the talented Mr. Ripley and the Royal Tenenbaums were her only noteworthy appearances. Apart from that, much like fellow Academy Award winner Nicolas Cage, Her career pretty much tanked. Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh. Jack Black. Are you okay? Brain freeze. Really putting those acting talents to good use, aren't we, Gwynny? Since 2008, she has portrayed Pepper Potts in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, for which she is probably best known today. What is less well known is that about the time she began playing Iron Man's crush, she founded a lifestyle brand called Goop. The name is apparently a play on her initials, or a word that means nothing and could mean anything. Although to me it sounds like what a toddler would say after going number two on the carpet. Originating as a newsletter and being incorporated as a company a few years later, Goop promotes what it considers to be tips and advice for healthy living, and sells a range of products through its online store, including beauty stuff, vitamins and supplements, homeware, and even its own fashion line. But why should we care? Because throughout its history, Goop and Paltra herself have peddled monumental quantities of bullshit and have been widely criticised by scientists for promoting practices and cures which have no scientific basis and for peddling this healthy lifestyle at outrageous prices. Goop is the ultimate example of celebrity ignorance, apart from anti-vaxxer Jenny McCarthy, but that's another story, and proof that if you have a celebrity patron, a slick presentation, and a rich idiot customer base, anything is possible. We're going to explore Goop's snake oil salesmanship and some of the ridiculous claims they've made. You think raw water was bad? Trust me, just wait. Cosmic health? What earth is cosmic health? Wait, wait, what? Psychic vampire repellent. Reported to banish bad vibes and shield you from the people who may be causing them. What the fuck? Paltrow said in an interview that I'm interested in criticism based on fact, not on projections. If you want to f*** with me, bring your A-game. Okay, Gwynny. That's how you want to do it? Are you ready, Stephen Colbert? NASA? Truth in advertising? Scientists worldwide with any competence and integrity? Let's fucking do this. Let's talk about science. If you hadn't guessed by now, Goop embraces so-called alternative medicine. So one of the things we like to do on Goop is find kind of what alternative, the alternative world says about like, you know, feeling good in the modern day world. It's not that we're opposed to conventional medicine, we just also are very interested in alternative medicine, having autonomy. But there's no such thing as alternative medicine. There is medicine that works, or medicine that doesn't work. There are claims based on evidence and peer-reviewed empirical testing, and then there's bullshit. But that doesn't stop Goop from trying. Here's a few examples. In 2015, a Goop-approved doctor peddled the much discredited myth of a link between underwiring in bras and breast cancer. Actual doctors were quick to pounce all over this one, and the fact that this doctor believes that phones and Wi-Fi are dangerous speaks volumes about his credibility. Tell us about earthing. What is earthing? Earth so earthing, I don't actually know that much about earthing. That's going to be a common theme, by the way. It's kind of, they say that we've lost touch with sort of being barefoot in the earth and that there's some type of electromagnetic thing that we're missing. That and is so true. It's good to take your shoes off and walk in the grass. It's good to take your shoes off and walk in the grass. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh god, all the depression is leaving me. <laughs> oh, oh, f no, no! Don't have any grass? No worries, you can buy an earthen kit for up to $200. Unless, of course, you're not an idiot. Okay. I don't know what the f we talk about. <laughs> Remember this? Makes quite the impression, doesn't it? Paltrow must have thought so, because in 2015, she began praising the practice of vaginal steaming. Steam cleaning your vagina. Okay, so they don't use steaming rocks. Instead, women sit or squat over a steaming bowl of water infused with various herbs. 
Paltrow herself recommends the Mugwort V-Steam, which makes use of infrared and Mugwort steam to clean your lady parts. Practitioners claim that this can ease menstrual cramps, symptoms of menopause and yeast infections, and can even help treat infertility. Hopefully I don't need to tell you that this vaginal steaming is at best unnecessary, and at worst actually dangerous. If you don't trust my extensive experience with vaginas, you can trust the gynaecologists who denounce this practice. Because there's no scientific evidence that it works, or that mugwort or the other herbs used in vaginal steaming have any health benefits. But Paltrow has stuck to her guns, and Goop still features a list of spas where you can get your energetic release. There's even some in London, before you try to write this off as a purely American thing. Because no, we're not better than this. Those spas can also be used- oh wait, hang on. Those spas can also be used to get coffee enemas, because that's another thing Goop supports despite their being useless, stupid and dangerous. They're even promoting a device to caffeinate your colon, which is just a glass bottle with a silicon tube to stick up your asshole, for the unmissable price of $135. The manufacturers of which made a bunch of bullshit claims, and then immediately added a disclaimer and a liability waiver, so they knew exactly what they were doing. Speaking of which, let's talk about products. Goop markets crystals which possess superpowers to cure various ailments by <sighs> transmitting and transforming energy while you hold them in your hand or between your ass cheeks. The most insidious of these is probably the carnelian crystal, which supposedly treats infertility. This alone proves how shameless and exploitative Goop really are, because infertile women tend to be desperate for any solution, however far-fetched and expensive. They added this bullshit disclaimer after Truth in Advertising put in its complaint, but that's just so they can't get sued. So I could just end it here, but no, there's more. The jade egg is an ancient um, Chinese practice where women insert the jade egg in their lady parts right. and um, to help tone the pelvic floor. It's an excellent exercise, but you're going to want a spotter. <laughs> now... They want a man of some capital here, cause it's dying, motherfuckers, dying, motherfuckers. Seriously though, what is this woman talking about? How does it help do that? I don't know. What a shock. An ancient um, Chinese practice where women... Ancient Chinese women also used to bind their feet, so... I don't know what the <laughs> f we talk about. Jade is a porous material, so bacteria and moisture can get inside and give you bacterial vaginosis or worse. So no, this is not a good idea, in case you're a bit slow. You'd be better off sticking that $66 directly into your... Lady part. Right. <laughs> In June 2017, Goop promoted Body Vibes, wearable stickers that promote healing. Really. It's like they know how ridiculous this is and they're just rubbing it in. Supposedly they help with stress, anxiety and other problems by transmitting frequencies stored in the stickers Oh, I've just felt a bit of bile. As if they were actively trying to trigger the scientific community, Body Vibes claim that their stickers work because they use the same conductive material that NASA uses to line their spacesuits in order to monitor astronauts' vitals. But NASA wasn't having any of it. They don't use any conductive carbon lining material in their spacesuits, and one of their former chief scientists absolutely demolished Body Vibes. <laughs> Knowing better than to try playing with the big boys, Goop and Body Vibes have since changed their marketing and apologised. Goop still recommends the stickers though, which you can buy for 60 bucks. These are only some of the most prominent examples of nonsense practices and products promoted by Goop. If I tried to cover them all, we'd be here until the second coming of Christ. But there are so many other examples that Truth in Advertising filed a formal complaint against Goop for misleading their customers. I would highly recommend checking out their list of grievances if you're interested, I'll link it in the description. And checking out Goop's website for yourself. But be warned, this rabbit hole goes deep. Goop responded to their critics, by the way, basically saying that because the scientific consensus has changed throughout the years, they feel justified in peddling whatever they feel like. I'm not even going to respond to that answer, except to point out that of the two doctors they asked to defend them, one of them said only a few weeks later that she can't endorse Goop, because they can't automatically assume that natural or organic products are therefore beneficial. That's an airtight defense they've got there. I've already noted the ridiculous prices of some of these products. Goop has been criticised for being generally expensive, and that's true. 
I'm less concerned about that, since their average customer has an household income of over $100,000 a year, and if they're willing to spend $450 on a blanket, then whatever, let them be idiots. I'm more concerned about the idea that living a healthy lifestyle requires taking out a second mortgage. No, Gwyneth, it's not aspirational to charge what you do. It's out of touch and exploitative. Healthy living should be accessible to everyone, not just you and your super rich friends. By the way, she tried doing a food stamp challenge to prove that poor people could follow her dietary requirements and gave up after four days, so there's that. But it's when they're charging big money for health products, especially bogus ones, like $90 for vitamins or $80 for a bottle with a rock inside it, that's when the claws come out. They even call the crystals in the medicine bag magically charged for Christ's sake. Maybe because they know they're in the firing line for complaints and lawsuits, Goop adds disclaimers, like this one on the 8 crystals page, are for informational purposes only, even if and to the extent that this article features the advice of physicians and medical practitioners. Then it's not information, it's bullshit. It's not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Then why are you calling it a medicine bag? They are the views of the author and do not necessarily represent the views of Goop. Then why are you selling them for $85 for a bag of eight? Piss off, Goop. And if you're entertaining the notion that Goop doesn't necessarily endorse everything it mentions on its website, under their company values, they literally say, we will never recommend something that we don't love. So that's bollocks. Just saying, we're trying to start a conversation, doesn't mean that you can host speakers who deny that HIV leads to AIDS and says that vaccines don't work, without then calling them out on this. And it certainly doesn't mean you can make money off these alternative views and wash your hands of any responsibility. And that includes Gwyneth herself. It's impossible to tell exactly how much of her own bullshit Gwyneth believes, because just like raw water and other money-making new age product pushers, the lines become very blurry. Given that she openly admits to steaming her vagina, named her daughter Apple, and says stuff like, We're human beings and the sun is the sun. How can it be bad for you? I don't think anything that is natural can be bad for you. I'm inclined to believe that Gwyneth herself is at least somewhat sincere, if somewhat idiotic. But that doesn't really change anything. Even if she's not setting out to deceive or scam people, she is responsible for Goop's irresponsible spreading of misinformation, in addition to her own, and the selling of untested and unproven cures. It's her company, she founded it, she owns it, she's the CEO. If she doesn't know what Goop's doing, she needs to find out. And she needs to educate herself about what's being endorsed by the company in her name. Squatting when urinating strengthens the pelvic floor muscles, resulting in a flatter stomach and more satisfying life. Is that something that you believe in? I don't know. You don't know. I never read that you before. You gotta subscribe to this website. Celebrities and anyone with influence have an obligation to make sure that they use their position to educate and lead their fans and followers, and not to propagate bullshit. And Gwyneth Paltrow has more responsibility than most. Why? Because Goop is now worth a quarter of a billion dollars. I'll let that sink in. And I haven't even talked about their sex page where they recommend a $10,000 24 karat gold dildo. You can't make this shit up. So yeah, Goop's crap, don't buy it. <sighs> that was a long one. And like I said, I'm only just scratching the surface. What do you guys think? Are alternative medicines worth anything, or are they just exploiting cynicism about the scientific establishment and taking advantage of sick people's desperation? And would you put any of this stuff in your vagina or asshole? Let me know in the comments.